Hello and welcome to day 265 of Daily Dose of Dutch. I started this 365 day challenge on uh, the 21st of May 2016 and there's only 100 days left. Well, what can happen in 100 days? Normally we look at the presidency or a new manager or a new managing director, CEO, and we say, what is he doing in the first 100 days? Well, obviously, if I do as much in the last 100 days as Donald Trump is doing in his first 100 days, wow, did we get even more cracking daily dose of Dutch in the, in the next 100. So day 265, and it is Friday. And I think it is important to do on a Friday to do a review. Just look back at a week. We're coming at the end of the work week. And my question to you is, we have one day left of the week tomorrow. My question to you is, would you like to have a little bit more time? Because maybe you're now coming to the end of the week and you haven't completed, you haven't achieved what you wanted to achieve. Uh, you haven't done what you wanted to do. You haven't completed what you set out to complete at the beginning of the week. Well, here is the surprise. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. You won't get more time. Every week you get 168 hours, seven days of 24 hours. That's what you get allocated every week. So the question is not do you have enough time or would you like to have more time? It is about are you using your time correctly? And a term that always keeps coming back when I talk about time management and when I read articles is about work-life balance. Well, I think it's a nonsense term. Work-life balance, forget about it. The only thing that matters is life balance. Because until you are financially independent, work is going to be part of it. But it's not just about work, because I know people that are financially independent and they still love to work simply because they just love doing it. So the question is not about work-life balance. The question is, is your life in balance? And that means you need to sleep, that means you need to eat, that means you need to work, that means you need to do exercising to make sure you stay um, uh, healthily, physically fit. That means you need to read, that you need to develop yourself to stay mentally fit as well. And all these things are part of your life. You need to spend time with your loved ones. Um, I had some quality time with my youngest daughter today, which is part of life. And that is not about do we find, uh, can we balance life out with work? Work is a part of that. So the question is, is your life in balance? Are you allocating the right time to the right things? Are you doing the first things first? Because ultimately, when we look at time management, it is about priorities. So are you doing the important things first? Because then if you're looking back at your week and you say, well, I didn't have enough time. See, look back in the past week. Where have you wasted your time? Where did you do stuff that was not urgent and not important? Maybe you've been scrolling too long on LinkedIn, reading articles. Maybe you've been on Facebook too long and yes, clicked on the next video and the next video and the cat video or the dog video that one of your friends shared. Look at the stuff that you've been doing. Do that review. And the good thing is there's still one day left tomorrow. So you can do important stuff tomorrow. But also the good thing is that next week you get another chance. Every week you get those 168 hours. So use them well. So if you want more time this week, well, you got one day extra left. But ultimately, it is how you use your time. So be proactive about it. Take charge. It's your life. It's your diary. It's your 168 hours. And nobody else decides how you can use that. So I wish you well with those choices because I know they're not always easy because sometimes people are pulling us at different sides. Um, there's different priorities, there's different things of importance. So I wish you well making a good decision on that. And I'll see you again tomorrow for another Daily Dose of Dutch.